Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Our new topic of discussion is Cosmic Database. Cosmic uh, basically is an abbreviation of Catalog of Somatic Mutations in Cancer. So it's quite obvious from this abbreviation that Cosmic Database is the one which catalogs or uh, which is basically a collection of all the somatic mutations which leads to a uh, cancer condition. So uh, this database now is, is not only uh, the collection of the different uh, mutations, but this database also contains some, some tools like Cancer Browser, Genome Browser, uh, GA4GH uh, uh, Beacon. And on the other side, uh, this database, it also, it, this database is basically uh, consists of, uh, are divided into several projects like Cosmic Project, here is the description that what uh, this project includes basically the core of cosmic and expert curated database of somatic mutations. The next project is cell line project, cosmic 3D project, cancer gene census, cancer mutation census and actionability. This actionability to include the mutation actionable in the precision oncology means the mutation which are directly concerned or connected with, uh, with the drug with its pharmacokinetics and the pharmacodynamics of the of the drug so uh, let's start with the with the data curation let's start with the data uh, with the data mining by using this uh, how, how can we use this database actually so this is you can you can uh, access the data but if, if you are interested in a particular project but if, if you just want to uh, see the overall information related to either certain cancer condition or some uh, particular gene you are interested in then you can use this query box just click in here and write any gene name for example uh, BRCA uh, one of the most famous uh, gene that is responsible for causing the breast cancer so for example BRCA2 type here and click here search Okay, so here we have two options, for example, BRCA2 and this one is as in symbol ID BRCA2. So, <clears throat> just click in here. And now you are navigating through the main gene information page. Here you can see the graphical overview, the histogram. It basically, it is written here that the gene overview histogram is a graphical view of the mutations across BRCA2. These mutations are displayed at the amino acid level across the full length of the gene by default. Anyway, so scroll down and then you can see the actual information. Or here on the left side are given several different tabs. You can directly go over to the information by clicking on any one of the tab, you, the information that you are interested in basically. So. <clears throat> This is an overview of the gene, the gene name, genomic coordinate is present on chromosome 13 from this genomic location to this genomic location in terms of the base pair. Uh, physically, it is located on the positive strand, plus strand. Its other names, synonymous means other names. These are the other names of the BRCA2. This one is the protein 3D structure of the BRCA2. <clears throat> in this database, uh, this gene is uh, is being screened in uh, 69,428 unique samples and 3,045 unique samples with the mutations. So, scroll down drug resistance, tissue distribution. So here is the genome browser, the browser overview, and then you can selectively uh, choose the locations. I mean, uh, you can selectively choose the, the parameters you're interested in. For example, if you if you, if, you, if you want to look at uh, the variation, you can just click in here, DBSMP. Uh, which nucleotide is methylated? You can click in here. Mutation distribution nonsense mutation 266 8.75 and you can here see the the missense 
substitution so most of the mutation in the BRCA 57.42 is, uh, is the missense mutation deletion insertion these are basically the variant information these are the mutations are the variant information that are actually uh, identified in the BRCA2 gene and here are the the citation are the reference articles And if you want, you can uh, download all these information, the variant information while clicking here. You can download it either in the CSV format or TSV format.